Hey guys, James here, back with another video. So if you've seen the previous video which I uploaded, um, you would have seen that, um, yeah, I got a bunch of camera gear and stuff um, recently. And so, yeah, this is the first unboxing of that. This is the Sony A6300 or the Alpha 6300. It's a pretty new camera that was released um, by Sony not long ago, about three months ago, um, kind of February, March area um, time period. Um, and yeah, I decided to get this because I needed a second camera um, for the, a wedding that I'll be shooting in two days from filming of this video. Um, and yeah, I just really wanted to uh, get get good shots. This shoots 4K, so it's also good for um, YouTube. So obviously, you know that I shoot 4K and um, I'm limited to the RX100's time limit of five minutes plus the overheating issue with the RX100 Mark IV. So um, this has a limit of 30 minutes 4K and people say that it doesn't overheat in normal environments. Now, if you put it in the sun, in the blazing hot heat, of course it's gonna overheat. Um, but in normal environments like my room, it, it shouldn't overheat. Now I'm getting overheating issues on my RX100. Whatever, all right. So let's quickly do this unboxing video so that I can switch over to this camera. Um, so I won't go too much into it. Let's just go straight in. Um, okay, so first thing you get manuals. Um, so Capture One Express, this looks like it's kind of like a raw editing kind of um, thing, kind of like Lightroom. So I don't know why you get two. Anyway, that's that. Wi-Fi NFC guide. So this camera does have Wi-Fi and NFC. I probably won't be using it just because, yeah, I yeah, probably don't need it. It's using extra, bat extra battery and overheating, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, lens and accessories from Sony, so it's like a chart diagram thing, so if you're willing to look at that, you can do that. Um, some manuals, uh, why is this manual backwards? That's really weird. Okay, this is in like Arabic, um, this is in Chinese, and then this is in English. So they give you, they give you three different manuals. Oh, okay, I get it, yeah, okay, Arabic is read backwards, I'm assuming, kind of like Chinese, um, yeah. That's why it's backwards. Um, so I guess, yeah, if, if you're Arabic, um, that's pretty cool. I mean, they, they, they do it that way. They purposely put it so that in, it's a format easily for you to read. Um, Chinese, don't read Chinese. And English, their instruction manual. So that's pretty cool. They still give you that. Inside the box, what else do we get? Um, we get... Uh, this is not for my country, but... This is, I know, I know in Malaysia they use this, um, in, and I think, yeah, Malaysia they use this, so, but it's an adapter for, for, I don't know. Um, okay, so, this is the, this is like a power brick, okay, let, let's just take everything out, and then you see, um, iCap, battery, uh, Sony Alpha, strap, uh, USB, and then, um, the camera itself, which is quite heavy. Okay, so to summarize, let's do a quick, uh, a quick unwrapping before my camera dies. Um, yeah, so this is the W series battery. So this would join my other W series batteries that I already have. Um, so that's cool, and I've got one ready to uh, unbox as well. Now this is the power adapter, um, which they give you, and this this USB cable plugs into your camera. Um, the A6300. So you attach this uh, USB like that and then you also they give you three different types of connectors so that's pretty cool um, of Sony. Um, usually they cheap out and only give you one but looks like they're giving you all different types so I think this is European that's what they call it uh, European I just know that in Asian countries that they use this um, as well um, so they have this type of connector, this type of connector, and the one they use in Australia, which, which is what I need, which is this one. So this can be plugged in now. Also, you can use it as basically a power source. Um, so if you don't want to use batteries um, and you're already fixed in a position, kind of like what I do, um, then that's going to be beneficial because I don't have to chew through batteries and less likely to overheat, I think. Um, and then obviously the Sony Alpha strap. Um, so that's the manuals that and then obviously they give you a little eyepiece which will come in handy to block out light uh, for the electronic viewfinder um, But yeah, let's just quickly get into the camera itself So it comes in this mesh wrapping and here's the camera now This is huge compared to what I think what, what I thought it was gonna be to give you a comparison. This is an NEX um, 5n and this is the 
this is the 6300. Pretty, pretty big difference. Um, the thickness, obviously like that and then like that. So yeah, I, I didn't expect it to be so big, but let's just, that's all right. I mean, I, th I think bit bigger the better. Um, so yeah, my RX100 Mark IV just overheated, so I have to let it cool down. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go straight back to where I left off. Um, so taking, looking at the top of the camera, you've got the logo for the Alpha 6300, 4K. Um, you have the Mi or My connector, that's Sony's version of hot shoe connectivity. Um, but this is a full hot shoe port, uh, or full, full cold shoe, standard cold shoe port. So you can put like a, a road video link, um, which I'll be probably doing or like anything else on top of that. Um, you've got the sensor marker, so that's for focal length. Now this is the flash, now you can see the flash button here, now if I press that, that automatically comes up. Now, it's, I don't have a battery in here, so that's, um, yeah, so if you're worried that if that was only triggered when there was battery, not, well, yeah, well, anyway, you're not gonna use it unless it has a battery. Um, but yeah, that's, this is a look at the flash. It's pretty, pretty thin. I mean, it's not the, it's not the best thing in the world, but that's what it is. Mode dial, on and off, um, custom button here. Um, you've got another custom um, dial. This can be switch. Uh, this can be used for focus, for aperture, for shutter, anything, anything that you want. You've got your recording button on the side. You've got an NFC uh, zone area to touch um, your phone, but I'll probably leave that disabled. Um, you have your two straps on this side. You've got uh, the Wi-Fi logo, so this does come Wi-Fi cap capable. Um, you've got. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's mini HDMI. So HDMI first, micro USB, and then your headphone jack. So the headphone jack is pretty cool you, that, 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 that they've added that. But I will still probably only use uh, my Zoom uh, just because it's more reliable, I think. Um, I don't mind syncing in post. I think that's, I, I'm not too fussed about that. At the back, you've got your EVF electronic viewfinder and they have the sensor. So every time you put your eye there, that, that screen will turn off, so that's cool. Um, and also note that this is not a touch screen. So some people found that really annoying, but I'm not too fussed. Um, maybe I might get annoyed later after using it for a while, but yeah, I'm not too fussed about that. You've got the focus dial. Um, that actually physically moves the glass up and down. I don't know if you can see that, but um, I can see it from this angle. The flash button, the menu button, um, auto focus, manual focus. That's pretty cool how they have a switch for that as well. Um, and then I think auto exposure lock. Um, you have your function button, your rotating dial, your different buttons, the center button, playback button, and your custom, second custom button. So you can choose those custom buttons to whatever you want to have that do. This is the screen. Um, that's the maximum. It can tilt up. Um, it can't tilt up more than that, which is pretty disappointing. Um, so, but the thing is, if you're shooting like this, you're shooting straight, you want to shoot low angle, then that does fully go up to 90 degrees, as you can see, um, pretty much 90 degrees. Um, so that's okay, but yeah, a bit disappointing how, like if I want to shoot top down, that I can't actually do that. That's pretty much what you see shooting top down. Um, so it's a little bit disappointing, um, but yeah, I mean, what can you do? It's a good camera for what it is. Um, at the bottom, you've got your uh, tripod shoot, your tripod mount. Um, here you've got the, the door and this comes with, uh, so not comes with, this has the battery with um, a dual SD plus MS Pro Duo slot. Now Sony's still trying to revive or still keep alive their MS Pro Duo but um, I, I still actually own that and I actually bought a 32 gigabyte card for my camcorder but um, it's not fast um, so I don't know why they're still trying to keep that alive but anyway that's that. Um, at the front you've got Obviously, the place where your lens goes, um, you have the the trigger, f the lock for your um, lens, and then I'll just quickly show you. This is what the sensor looks like, and you can see it's got the electronic um, contact points. But I won't leave that exposed for too long. And then, of course, you got your shutter button, which I forgot to mention. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this camera. Um, I'll probably do another review on like actually seeing an operation and all that kind of stuff. And I think this is a speaker, by the way, as well. Um, microphone. There's two microphones at the front. So, got to mention that, and also there's that um, kind of like focus light as well. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what this is for. I think this might be a sensor, um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, it's got a pretty good grip. Um, it's quite large, so I got. So my camera overheated again, um, and yeah, it's really annoying. Um, so I'm glad to just get rid of this. So just the thing, if you're using an RX100 Mark IV, think of getting one. 
and you want to use it for 4K, don't get it. Um, just get this. <laughs> um, even though I haven't used it, I know it's going to be so much better. Um, but as I was saying, um, it's a really good grip. I have large hands, so um, yeah, I mean, that's that's nice. It's nice to feel in the hands. It's not, it doesn't feel small. It's a good size. Um, it's kind of like a little bit larger, a little bit smaller than a GH4, I reckon. Um, but yeah, I reckon this is a good size. So that's pretty much it for this video. So to recap, um, you get one battery, you get the battery, uh, sorry, the micro USB kind of adapter charger thing with it. You get your manuals, you get your Sony Alpha strap, which I will not use. Um, you get your three different types of uh, power adapters. That's pretty cool how they include the three different types. You get your iCup, which I'll put that on right now. Um, looks like it's just a slip on. What's the best way? Slip on. Put, show you guys. Okay, that clicks in well, so I'm gonna keep that there. So that's a nice fit for your eye. That's pretty easy and that won't come off. There's a click. It clicks on and then yeah that's pretty much it um so and i looked at i probably had a proper look at the capture one this is not free software they do not give you free so software it's just advertising so um it would have been nice if they had given you the software for free or at least a trial i mean like anyway um because i know when i bought my zooms i got a version of cubase um le and wave lab le so that's pretty cool but anyway um so that's just been a quick uh, not really quick, but a long unboxing um, and quick look at the Sony a6300. So from now on, all my videos will be in um, shot on this camera. So um, you, I'm going to be unboxing some of the lenses um, and you'll be thinking, how am I going to do that? I'm going to use this old lens. It's uh, 18 to 55. Um, this is from my sister's uh, NEX5N. So um, it is pretty beat up, but it does the job. So I'll just use this in the meantime until I open a lens and, and use that. Um, but that's just been a quick look at, yeah, this this camera. So liked it if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Um, yeah, leave a comment below if you have any questions or any comments about um, this particular product um, or yeah, any of the accessories that, that come with it. Um, and I'll try to get around to answering those for you as soon as I can. Um, yeah, so subscribe, subscribe to see more videos in the future and I'll see you guys in the next one.